my tools. So what I'm doing here is I'm gonna replace the uh, pinion, the pinion gear seal on the uh, rear end here. And uh, as you can see, I had already started doing the job. Um, pretty much, this is how I just pop it off with the hammer. I have my tool. This is what I use here. This is a pretty nice size flathead. So flathead like that, a hammer, a nice beat up hammer. I work perfectly. And uh, pretty much just take these bad boys. Get there and sit to where you can see the work. I don't know if you can see that. See that? Pretty much what you want to do here. Go ahead. Go around it like this. Put this in here like that. Have it a little excited, you know. You want to just knock that thing loose out there, and blam! And that's pretty much uh, what you want to do. Uh, first off, you're gonna to want to use an impact. Um, I mean, I had because of course you're not gonna be able to lock up the rear end because you can't because <clears throat> the uh, differential isn't hooked up to the drive shaft anymore so that's the reason why uh, you want to use that because if not you'll just end up spinning and spinning and spinning and that shit's just gonna be like what the fuck and the only thing you can do is like if you can find a brake or something to fit underneath the tire here and then all you have to do is like raise this up raise the, dip, the rear end up put a brake under the rear end under the, under the tire and then you just lower it down, lock it in there, and uh, and then that might help. You can do that on both both sides, and I think it'll probably work perfectly. Um, I know I've used that method to tighten down bolts, the lug nuts on the. So, anyways, <clears throat> just a quick video of uh, how to pop off the pinion seal on the pretty much. Any side. All right. Thanks for watching. And again, flathead, beat up hammer. Also, this was a 27. Just so I might, I might add that I used the 27 on that. So, ain't nothing too fancy.